Here's in Crawford Stadium, the shrine of football action here in Trinidad and Tobago. Russell Latipi, Dwight York, so much more come to mind when you think of this iconic venue. We're here today on Wyatt 868 TV to get a look at the under 20 female girls as they get set for the under 20 CONCACAF Championship right here in Trinidad and Tobago. We're going to chat to the players, the coaches, get a feel of what they're up to. Come on, it's football time. This is what it feels like. I think the special thing about this team is that they've played CONCACAF before. They've played it at U15 level uh, and they've played it at U17 level. They know what it means to play in a CONCACAF tournament. They know what United States, Canada, Mexico, Costa Rica, Haiti, uh, these teams bring, you know, and they know that it's going to be tough. You know, that knowledge has enabled them to train with a certain level of intensity, a certain effort that has been admirable. The level of talent I think is uh, really good. There's like outside backs who can run as fast as outside wings, so it's really exciting to see like different uh, or different strengths kind of you know complementing each other so it's I think it's gonna be an exciting time to come out and watch us. Well we are quite great in attacking you know we love to communicate and as one of the most important keys in everything we do in communication you know we try now to build our chemistry. It's been really really good the training sessions have been really intense short and intense so I think that we'll be prepared for the tournament. Over the past years that I've been in the national program, this group is a really, really good group. We have a lot of talented players, so I think that we have a good chance of making a statement in the tournament. I believe that my strength is my vision and my passing ability, so I could create chances for other players to score. I think the girls have worked very hard. We've had like five mini camps. Um, some days the girls have had to train in the morning and then go to school right after training and, and, and come back in the evening. Um, they've all made tremendous sacrifices. Uh, we've had two friendly internationals against Jamaica, which was just one week after we started to train and we did well. We came away with two 1-0 victories. Uh, but we would have liked to have two more high-level matches. There's an environment that international matches bring that, that, that prepares you for the game for three points that cannot be replicated in training. We came up with a plan. Um, the girls, so the girls played the, the, the women's senior team uh, two matches, but then uh, they're gonna play a veteran's men's team uh, made up of players like, like, like Dennis uh, Lawrence, like Russell Latapi, like St. John. You know, these type of players who are a little bit slow, but still good enough and active enough to school them and, 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 and teach the girls a lesson or two. I think the strength of the team uh, comes from, from, from a certain effort, uh, particularly from, from the midfield. Uh, and then we have some, some players on the side of the field who are very explosive. Cicely Stout, uh, Seth, uh, Chelsea Ralph, uh, KD Johnson. Right in the middle of the field we have uh, uh, our Rennie Ward. Up top we have a, a, a Prince, a Kayla Prince, and then we have this little youngster, uh, Alia Prince, who is one of the players from the U17 who've really stepped up. We've already had 14 schools in the United States call and inquire about her. Playing children and to be going on 15 and on 17. I think it gave me a level of experience because you know, the first time I played for my country, so I know it feels to play in front of your home court. Once I get a ball to run, then I am into defense. To be, to be honest, I'm not an easy player to handle, so you have to come real good in order to stop this number 10. I think this is the challenge for them, you know? Not so much on, 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 on what happens on the field, but how they deal with it emotionally. The emotional intelligence they bring, you know, understanding that the score in the game is not the result in the game and that they've got to play to the final whistle. 
I think this is the challenge for us in, 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 in this team. Well, we will be playing really high competitive football, um, so you could have expect the intensity to be um, right. And just come out and support because we can't do it without the support from back home. Hey, that's it. Another fantastic edition of Wyatt 868 TV. Certainly wish the ladies all the best of luck. That's it for us. I'm your host, James Saunders. Catch you later.